Good morning, everyone. Here are the Sanibel Island and Southwest Florida updates as of November 27th, 2022. Sanibel Restaurant Updates. The Blue Rendezvous French Bistro will not be reopening at their Sanibel location. Their lease was terminated by their landlord. The location was 2430 Periwinkle Way, Suite A, Sanibel. They are in the process of trying to find a new restaurant location. Other businesses that have had their leases terminated are the Pecking Order Fried Chicken, George and Wendy's Sanibel Seafood Grill, and 400 Rabbits. I don't want to get all gossipy, but supposedly there is a holding company that owns 80% of the retail space on the island. I am saying supposedly because I am still in the process of researching if this is true or not. Anyway, I have read a lot of negative comments about this holding company. The holding company is deciding to gut and rebuild all their properties even if the current renter didn't think it was necessary. It will be interesting to see what the property company int intends to do with all this empty retail space. The Historical Preservation Committee will convene a regular meeting at 9 a.m. on Thursday, December 1st. The meeting location is at the BIG Arts Building 900 Dunlop Road on Sanibel. The public is welcome. On the agenda is a request to remove the Nut House, also known as Gray Gables, from a historical designation. The building was designated a historical site in 1991. The main reason that caretakers are now requesting the removal of the historical designation is because of insurance. The historic registry designation has become a red flag to wind insurers. They were notified in December of 2021 that after 2022, they would be classified as non-renewable. They have been repeatedly turned down by other insurance companies for this same reason. The only insurance company willing to sign a policy with them is charging twice the price, and that was before Hurricane Ian. The building did sustain major damage from the hurricane. They have got a repair estimate at almost $1 million. Having received no communication from their insurance adjusters as to damage payments, the caretakers are worried they will not have the funds to restore the house. The last resort is that they will have to demo the house. If demolition is the only option, they assure the Historical Society that the cemetery will be protected as an historic monument to those early settlers. This is a very bad situation that they are having difficulty with insurance. Looking at the building photos post-hurricane, the damage doesn't really look that bad. The building is still standing. The flood breakaway walls worked like they are supposed to, but they did sustain major roof damage. Looking over the repair estimate, it looks like the inside will have to be gutted completely. One major expense is they have to install a new elevator. My point is that the building is standing and is still going to cost a million dollars to repair. Can you imagine how much a completely demolished house would cost to rebuild on Sanibel? The insurance carrier was being difficult before the hurricane and now after the hurricane they have pretty much ghosted them. Hopefully someone on the Historical Society Committee will have some ideas on, on how to preserve this site. Uh, so yes, yeah, stay tuned. The meeting is on December 1st. It'll be interesting to see if they come up with any solutions. Thanks for listening.